Hi, uh, my name is Nor Izaldin Nor Hasnan, and I am the head of strategic asset allocation in AMB. And what I do here is to advise our fund managers on where to invest in the long term, as well as advise them on how to improve their performance in uh, managing their funds. I actually started my career in 2011 at the CEO's office of BNB. It was quite a generalist role because we had to do pretty much anything under the sun. But my primary responsibility was to look at our portfolio companies and find ways on how to create values. It was quite an experience because I get to advise my CEO on what to do and then work together with a lot of uh, senior management of portfolio companies, uh, investment bankers and consultants. In 2017, um, I got a call from the management to hire a new department in PNB called Strategic Asset Allocation. Our responsibility was to uh, optimize our long-term asset allocation in order to improve the risk-adjusted returns of our funds. Knowing firsthand the importance of effective capital allocation to create value, I jumped at the opportunity. In my role back then, I got to do a lot of change management activities and um, meeting a lot of internal people and trying to change the culture, trying to put in a new process. So with this experience, I was able to grow into a well-rounded leader. And fast forward to today, now I am heading the department that I helped founded three years ago. In the university, I had two transformative experiences. Number one is that I realized that technology is just a means to an end. So the value of technology comes from um, what it can enable people to do. When I work in investment banks in London, I learned about the investments, about markets, and how technology help these people do their businesses. And the second transformative experience that I had in the university is when I led Factory Club. I learned that the impact of equitable and sustainable finance could have on millions of people. My role was to raise awareness about the harsh social condition and environment of millions of farmers in the third world countries. What the trade does is to introduce a more equitable and ethical trading practices which will help improve the livelihood of these farmers. So with these two reasons, then I decided to make a career in finance. very relevant. Personally, I see CFA program as the gold standard in the investment industry for three reasons. Number one is in terms of the uh, resourcefulness. I couldn't count how many times I have to reach out to my CFA program curriculum and study materials to help me with my work. Uh, second is on recognition. Having a CFA designation at the end of your name signifies a lot of things. It tells people that you have the right qualification, the right experience, so it carries a lot of confidence. And the third reason is the network. As your career progresses, the network would become very important, especially when you want to have knowledge sharing session to seek new opportunities, to find new talents for your firms. So having access to this uh, exclusive alumni network that the CFA program provides adds a lot of value to you. So um, for these three reasons, I think the CFA program is still relevant and will be relevant uh, in the future for both local and uh, global landscape setting. In terms of advice that I can give to the CFA charter holders is that don't stop learning. Earning a CFA charter um, is definitely a career milestone, but in the field of finance, knowledge continues to evolve. 
And it's very important for us to continue learning from each other, continue to learn new material. And at the same time, do not just learn, but also contribute. So seek for problems, challenges to uh, solve. You have the tools in your hands today, and now you have to use them.